So current models of healthcare are no longer sustainable. We're seeing um, increasing demand for healthcare, increasing burden of disease, and simply not enough resources. Um, so we could keep doing what we're doing right now harder and faster, um, but that's unlikely to ever meet demand. So actually what we need to do is reimagine healthcare. Uh, and to do that, we really need to have digital workflows. So the ability to collect data at the point of care. We need to have the ability to take that data out to make data-driven decisions. And then we need the ability to create new and innovative models of care. So how do we set ourselves up for things like precision medicine uh, and machine learning? And it's only with this uh, staged approach um, to digitisation and innovation that we'll be able to reach this demand um, with a limited resourcing profile. So there's no doubt digital healthcare is the future. Uh, at the moment, uh, we have some real experts in digital health who are essentially learning on the job. Uh, what the University of Queensland has done is a nationally important project funded by the Digital Health CRC and in collaboration with the Queensland Government where we're taking a strategic and measured approach to training people to be the best digital health practitioners they can be. Uh, so this course is really for clinicians who see themselves as future chief clinical information officers, uh, chief medical information officers, chief nursing information officers, or chief allied health officers. So that ability to really understand digital transformation. Uh, this course is also open to people who are um, IT experts and who are keen to work in healthcare. And then the third um, group that this course is suitable for is um, healthcare managers and executives who understand that understanding the digital healthcare landscape is the most powerful tool they have for system improvement. The course content has been carefully mapped uh, to the three horizons of digital transformation which have been adopted here in Queensland as our digital health clinical charter. Uh, so the first horizon is really about digital workflows. How, what is the best practice and best evidence for implementing systems and how do we do it safely and efficiently? So that's really horizon one. Horizon two is all about retrieving the data from those workflows and creating data and analytics. Uh, and we're not talking about retrospective reporting, but real-time analytics to allow data-driven decision-making on the floor. The third horizon is taking those digital workflows, the data and the analytics, and creating new and innovative models of care. So things like precision medicine, where we actually deliver personalised um, ability for a consumer to get the very best treatment. Uh, virtual care, where we monitor consumers at distance uh, and target specific treatments to them. So layering that all uh, together really gives um, our students uh, a world leading advantage in terms of understanding digital healthcare and to become leaders in this space. Healthcare is getting increasingly complex and the traditional model of a single practitioner and a single patient is probably no longer fit for purpose. So the new breed of leaders uh, in the clinical space, in the IT space and in the executive space understand this. And what they want to um, lead is a new way of delivering healthcare, but they need the tools and the evidence to do that safely and efficiently. And the University of Queensland has curated an amazing course where we're able to take everybody through this in an evidence-based and best practice way um, to deliver the new leaders of digital healthcare.